All right. So before I get into things, I'd just like to give a huge shout out to my friend Daya. Daya claims that all men within the draft league community are pigs, and I 100% agree. If you're watching this video, you are likely a pig, and I, the big blue wolf, am out here to try to blow all of you. Anyways, what is going on guys? My name is Perfect Blue, coach of the San Diego State Azelfs in the first season of the BBL, also known as the Banless Battlers League. So the BBL is a league commissioned by AA around 2420, Lame Horizon, and Ashley the Cat. Uh, it is a Wi-Fi upload league, which features a lot of normally banned Pokemon within the Draft League meta, such as Rayquaza, Mewtwo, Kiram White, some Arceus forms, and Naganadel. So how the draft works is it's a point style draft. You get 130 points. Uh, you have to pick 10 to 12 Pokemon. And you get 30 points at the end for Z-Mons. And um, the price of Z-Mons is equivalent to the price of the actual Mon. But it's a separate budget, if that makes sense. For example, if I wanted uh, to Z-Move my Bulbasaur, it cost one point out of my... So first of all, I'd have to draft Bulbasaur, which would take one point out of my 130. And uh, it'd take one point out of my 30 Z-Points. Uh, just for an example. So before I get into things, I'd like to give um, two huge shoutouts. Uh, the first one is to Flame Horizon for hooking me up with this really, really clean logo. Man, thank you so much for the logo. It looks so clean. Um, I really, really like it. And I also want to give a shout out to all of those who helped me pick my Pokemon. Um, I really want to take this league seriously. So I really do appreciate those who were able to give me feedback on my team. So I was the fifth pick, sixth pick, sixth, fifth or sixth pick, I believe sixth pick, um, in the draft, which that's okay. Um, I really wanted Mewtwo. I knew I wasn't going to get it at all. Um, Mewtwo was should be a uh, the first pick. So what I wanted. In this draft my goals for the draft um one is to have a pure wall breaker with all these ubers in the draft um league pool or in this drafts pool uh having a pure wall breaker i feel to feed off on the lower tier mons is going to be really essential for me my success within the format uh, i mean this specific format the um Format that features a lot of banned Pokemon. Uh, two, I did not want to lose to Blaziken. Dude, Bla Blaziken is so insane. Um, whether it be Mega or regular Blaziken, uh, because what it does to teams, if you get up two swords, one Swords Dance and maybe two Speed Boosts, the game's kind of over. Um, that thing can just sweep you. A lot more scarier than Skullpeed as a Speed Boost sweeper in my opinion. And the third, um, just before the draft, um, once I figured out my draft spot, I decided to go over the price list. I saw this Pokemon that was really, really cheap, and I'm going to get into it uh, later, but you'll see um, that this Pokemon was a bit of a reach for me, I feel, as I'm not the most experienced uh, player with it. However, I do feel like it is really, really nice in a league that features a lot of banned Pokemon. So, with my first pick, I wanted something that uh, preferably could take Earthquakes. Because one thing uh, within my drafting that I really notice is I draft very, teams very weak to um, Earthquake spam. I also wanted a Defogger. And I wanted um, just something that can like tank hits, you know? I wanted one of the fun mods like Ho-Oh, uh, for example. However... Looking at Ho-Oh, it's, first of all, it's 22 points, which, um, the point, it, it is the most, ex it's tied for the most expensive one. Uh, it can run Regenerator, though, so I guess that is a perk. Um, Sacred Fire is pretty cool, Brave Bird's pretty cool. However, last second, I had a slight change of heart. So, with the first pick, for 20 points, the San Diego State Azelves select Lugia. Now, why did I pick Lugia? One, it was Mega Blaziken and regular Blaziken, I guess. Um, 
I'm not losing to Blaziken, dude. Uh, I want Lugia. Uh, it's a really, really bulky Pokemon. With multi-skill, like, um, with 106 HP, 130 defense, and 154 spadef, this thing is insanely bulky. And, like, 110 speed, that's also no joke either. Um, 90 attack and special attack, eh, it could be better. Um, it's not really meant to hit that hard. Uh, actually, thinking of things, you can run, like, a weakness policy set, which I feel like would be pretty cool, because it has a lot of speed and, uh, a lot of bulk to take hits, as well as multi-scale. Uh, so Lugia, it's a beast, obviously. Um, a more tankier Pokemon, which I feel like I really, really needed, um, for my team. Just a good tank to have. Uh, I felt was essential to uh, the success within uh, this specific league. So, you're probably wondering, what was the main selling point of Lugia? Why did I take it over ho -Oh? Because ho -Oh, I feel like, is a better Pokemon. But I wanted to use Lugia. Well, here, I'm, I'm going to explain to you why. Lugia. It's just so perfect. It's perfect. Anyways, let's go on to my next pick. Um, I wanted something that could defog for Lugia. Because Lugia running defog, not really nice. It taking rock damage, not really nice. Uh, so I look on the board, and there is something that is on the board still uh, in the second round. That, one, it gives me a defogger. Um... It kind of shares some weaknesses with Lugia, which um, is a bit unfortunate. However, I feel like the bulk between these mods will help. And um, another thing, it completely walls Blaziken. Um, I'm not losing to Blaziken, dude. So with my second pick, uh, for 20 points, I decide to select Giratina Origin Form. Um, why Origin Form over Eternal? Um, Eternal was sniped. Um, I was kind of upset. With that, it's on a very stally team, which, like, guys, how, how do we let that happen? Anyways, you're seeing an origin form. Um, the perks to it, it's not weak to knock off, which is pretty cool because it has to hold the Gracious Orb, which uh, boosts its um, dragon and ghost moves by 1.2. Uh, along with 120 attack and 120 special attack, I feel like it's a pretty hard hitter. Um, gives me a really, really reliable defogger for my Lugia which I felt like was um, really nice. And also, just a nice bonus, it has 150 HP. That's ridiculous. Um, its set setup options are Calm Mind, I believe, which, uh, yeah, it's Calm Mind. Um, it also has a lot of coverage, surprisingly. Uh, you know, you can run like a Will-O-Wisp, Dragon Tail, Draco, uh, Shadow Sneak, um, it can also Thunder Wave. It can Tailwind. Like, man, Giratina, I feel like, is a really cool mod. So, for the, my nickname for Giratina, um, you know how Giratina kind of has some similarities to, like, Satan? So, one, gotta make it shiny. Um, it has, you know, the bit of blue there, which, uh, yeah, you know, I love my blue. And, two, it has, like, six of everything, so I'm just gonna... I'm just going to tell you the name. I called it Poppy. Uh, I love Poppy. Uh, just an amazing girl. Um, standard internet girl. Anyways, my next pick. The thing I noticed between Lugia and Giratina is um, I'm not weak to Earthquake. I'm like, I don't have to draft like a grass type. I feel that's um, that resists Earthquake. Just because, um, these two can just switch in, you know? Um, it's totally fine. Um, if I- I'm against a Zygarde, um, <laughs> Lugia still eats hits anyways, like, man, these two are really, really bulky. If I could get a good Wish Passer with Giratina, that could be really nice. Something like a Florgus would be really cool with this core, I feel like, just because, um, it can defog for the Lugia, and it can pass Wishes into the Giratina or Jumbo. Anyways, uh, enough with that. Um, I had the ground responses. 
So now I'm going to select something that is a bit questionable, I feel like, in the third round. Um, especially with all these mons. However, I did set the goal of me wanting to draft a wall breaker. So for 14 points, I decide to select Victini. Victini, um, I feel like a lot of people use it in a very weird way. Uh, I feel like just its best set is either like band or specs. Just like, you know, send it in, they pick one, and then they go into something to try to revenge you. Um, the thing that I have between my first three picks is Dark Ghost kind of wrecks me. Um, I obviously will have to patch that up later. Uh, as you will see in my later picks, I eventually do patch it up um, quite a bit. Anyways, Victini gives me that wall breaker. Um, I don't want to get stalled by anything. Because if it's just a stall fest between Lugia and Giratina and like another Pokemon or two, uh, that's not fun at all to play. And the my goal within... Um, the BBL is not really to like make games necessarily boring for um, my opponent or for or for myself. Um, I'm all about fun, and if I were to just stall with Giratina and Lugia the whole time, and my opponent doing the same, um, that could be very uh, boring to play. Kind of a waste of time, I feel. Um, even though like a win's a win, and like I'll tr if the matchup needs me to bring. Uh, like very bulky Giratina and very bulky Lugia, then of course I will probably think about doing it. But in terms of having fun for the league, you know, just having wall breakers, <laughs> wall breakers are fun. Victini is a lot of fun to use. Um, it did fall from its grace in Gen 6 when A Drive kind of popularized it, um, I feel like. But Victini, I feel like can be a really cool member with this team uh it does help my speed tiers a bit you know gives me that thing between 110 and 90 even though i'm rarely going to be running speed on Lugia, because like man look at his bulk um pretty nice anyways um you should all know what victini does it breaks walls you know clicks buttons breaks walls uh v create is a very very fun move unless if your opponent has a dug trio and just traps you afterwards um, so because of that, I'm going to name my uh, Victini Yum Cake after, um, my good friend, the Pecking Order. Um, he really likes Victini, and he really showed me the potential of it. Just nabbing kills and kills with it. Um, it's not really a one-for-one -one mon in my eyes. Um, it's one of those mons where it's like, whenever it switches in, it kind of just gets a kill, which I feel like is really, really cool. So, three picks in. Um, Ghost Dark, scary. Um, I don't have a rocker. Uh, I have two defoggers, which I feel like is pretty nice right now. And so, with my next pick, I need... I want... I, I'm the kind of guy to wait till the last round to pick their Mega. But I felt like I needed this Pokemon right now. Just to make sure it wasn't Snipe. So, anyways, for my next pick... I decided to select Mega Deancey. Now, why Mega Deancey? Um, I have the steel response in, in Victini. I feel like they do share the weakness to ground and um, water, which um, is very handled by Giratina, obviously. Giratina just has an insane defensive typing with Levitate. That's really, really cool uh, for me. Uh, Deancey gives me a stealth rocker. Gives me a real one base 110 speed tier. As Lugia, I'm rarely ever going to be running speed on that anyways. And so, uh, DNC, it's also a mon I feel really comfortable with, which I feel like is something that I kind of needed. I didn't want to just straight up try new mons. You know, I love winning. Obvi who doesn't love winning? So, kind of wanted DNC. Um, we're naming her Kurosawa. Um, shout out to Daya. Um, cool girl. Deancey, just a princess, you know, it does things, Diamond Storms, Moonglass, um, it can run, like, Sharpen, it gets Endeavor also, um, which I feel like is pretty cool, also Explosion, um, 160 in Attack and Special Attack, um, obviously is no joke, so, 
yeah, why not pick Diancy? So here is the questionable pick. The part you guys have been waiting for. Um, let me tell you guys about the draft order. Uh, the people after me, like directly after me, were Matt O'Shea and Aaron2420. Uh, two people I know really well. And because I know them really well, I know that these two are going after a certain Mon. And I looked at the prices. This Mon was only 5 points, which I felt like was a steal with all these beasts running around. You know, it does create a lot of prep. And so, why did I take it round 5? Um, I didn't want it to be sniped, um, like, on the way back to me by Matt O'Shea or Aaron. So, my next mod's Ditto. Why did I pick Ditto? With all these beasts on my opponent's team, it essentially can give me another uber. It also prevents a lot of setup, which I feel like is really, really nice with my defensive core of Lugia and Giratina, as something like a Blaziken, for example, can't just pass speed into something uh to win so it, it basically makes blaze it can useless versus my team just because it's a ditto um ditto what else about it i guess it's a ditto just copies you copies you yeah so ditto does um it was five points five points with all these ubers in the um in the draft board like Oh my gosh, it can just copy things. Now, I didn't really- I, I felt kind of bad sniping um, Matt O'Shea and Aaron uh, with this pick, as I know that they both really, really wanted it, probably a lot more than me. However, um, I feel like Ditto, it's something that I wanted to try to use for a while. Um, I've never really been that big of a fan of Ditto in normal uh, draft metas, but I feel like in this one it can be really nice. Um, it supports my defensive core really well, um, preventing setup, and uh, like if my opponent has to go against his own uber, that can be very very um, stressful for my opponent obviously. So Ditto, we're going in to make him shiny, because you know, we gotta have the blue in it, the big blue wolf inside of it. And we're naming uh, Ditto Plato. Oh, by the way, Deancey was 16 points. Forgot to mention that. So, now, I got Ditto in the fifth round. I do have a bit more points now to, you know, break the bank if I really wanted to. So, you know what I do? I decide to do that and break the bank. So, for 19 points, I go after Darkrai. Um, Darkrai is a Darkrai. It's just a special Weavile, guys. It's not that bad. Come on. Um, it gets, like, Spatial Rend. That's pretty cool. Um, does it get Sword Dance? It does get Sword Dance. So, like, it can Sword Dance. Uh, it can Nasty Plot. It can Dark Void, I guess. Although Hypnosis is a lot better. Um, it gives me an answer to Ghost and Dark types, I feel like. Um... Because Darkrai does have um, 70, 90, 90 um, bulk, that is not the best, but it's adjustable to live hits, as it's not like Weavile Frail or anything like that. Um, Darkrai, I also made a Z-Mon. Oh, main reason, Z-Hypnosis. It's a fun move when it hits, uh, obviously. So, Darkrai, we're going to call him Majuku. Um... Me, me Juku. Uh, because it's about dreams. Ha, huh, I get it. If you don't, you probably have no culture. Anyways, um, Dark Eye, I felt like it was a pretty cool pick. Um, Fighting Resist, I have three. Bug Resist, um, bug types don't really do much to my team anyways. Giratina Origin Form, just again, like... <laughs> It's typing is amazing defensively, along with Levitate, I feel like it's pretty cool. So, um, I broke the bank with Darkrai. You know what you do when you decide to, you know, just spend all in? We're going uh, Golden State style, guys. So, with my next pick, for 22 points, I pick Groudon. Um, Groudon, it's, I feel like a lot of people really underestimate this mon. Uh, drought, it's pretty good 
I, I love drought as an ability because it allows it to run like solar beam. Um, it makes uh, water moves weaker against it, obviously. It like 150 attack with precipice blades, that's no joke. Um, it's a really nice edge quaker. Um, beats a lot of steals that my DNC and I guess Darkrai could struggle with a bit. Oh, like some boosted beak reach for Victini. Groudon just felt like the perfect fit. It also gave me another rocker. Very reliable rocker, actually. Um, so that's also really nice. A good double dancer. Uh, weakness policy, you know, the best item in the game. Um, if a Pokemon wants to use a water move against it, like in the drought, weakens it gives you the plus two attack and special attack you can like solar beam precipice blades stone edge i guess and that kind of hits a lot um so uh groudon i felt like was really really cool it like i understand that it's breaking the bank and i understand it is four ubers um however I'm all about fun. Dude, four Ubers is fun. Plus a Ditto and like a Dancy Victini. That that sounds like a lot of fun to use. Don't want you guys agree. So, right on name, Ruby. Um, Ruby is such a cutie. That's, R Ruby's adorable. Um, anyways, with my next pick, uh, I decide I need another answer that's not Darkrai to these Ghost and Dark types. So, I debate between Pangoro and Beware. Ultimately, it comes down to I want Beware. Um, Beware, I felt like... Um, Pangoro is a bit more of an offensive threat. But with Fluffy, Beware is actually really, really cool, I feel. Um, I don't have a fire weakness um, on my team so far. So... Uh, Beware can really be supported that way. Although I guess um Groudon does give the sun to my opponent, which can be very annoying. Um, but yeah, it's a beware. Um fighting to help break steals for Deancey. Um just make make Deancey be a very prominent offensive threat. That's kind of what I tried to do with a couple of my picks. Um so beware, we're gonna make beware shiny because um California Golden Beware's, um, Cali is the best state, by the way. Uh, we're going to call Beware Uncle Mike, because we all have that Uncle Mike that just wants to give us a hug, you know, uh, Uncle Mike. Um, so yeah. Uh, next pick. Here we, I, I decide, um, for three points, actually, because at this point, I broke the bank. Beware was eight, by the way. Anyways, I broke the bank at this point. Um, I didn't six points left and i needed two pokemon uh minimum i could have gotten four but like oh just a bunch of one point ones i felt like would have been like eh so next i decide to pick up another offensive threat that i've been planning it's victory bell uh for three points i felt like victory bell was a steal this thing is amazing um it's a better it's Better on offense than Mega than regular Venusaur, you know the Sun Sweeper one. I feel like Victory Bell is a lot better um, to have just because, first of all, it has more attack and special attack. Does that have more special attack? I think it ties on special attack. Um, it doesn't get Earthquake, which um, like like Venusaur's ran um, on Sun Teams more because of Earthquake because you know like Sea Trains a thing, but. Now, like, what's the Heatran doing to Groudon and, uh, like, my team in general, I guess? Actually, Heatran doesn't have that bad of a matchup, um, looking at things. So, um, Victory Bell's Sleep Powder growth can be really cool. If I don't want to bring a Sun Sweeper set, it does get Gluttony. So, like, Gluttony shenanigans, that can be a lot of fun, uh, to use. So... With Victory Bell, because it's a it's a Trapper, we're not naming it Lolly Trapper because that's a bit too far. I feel we're naming Victory Bell Strawberry because Strawberry Trapper, haha, get it. Um, a lot of you won't understand my reference. Anyways, three points left. Um, I need one more Mon. So for two points, actually, um, only two. I pick Roselia. So you're probably wondering, wait, why do I have a Roselia and a Victory Bell? Um. It's exactly the same typing. Um, main reason, I'm just going to say it, I love spikes. 
I love spikes. T spikes, spikes, they're just so much fun. Like, T spikes, you know, get a layer up. You got your Hex Giratina in the back. You got a Lugia in the back. Just, like, how do you, how does my opponent break through that? Uh, or, basically. I just feel like Roselia was a cool pick. Um, two points, I feel like, was pretty good value. Um, it's more of a defensive one than a victory bell, as, like, they both get recovery and everything, but Roselia, I feel like it's a more, um, optimal switch into certain threats. Uh, also, like, I guess Leaf Guard, um, if Sunny Day is active, that can be pretty cool, because, like, I can't get frozen, guys. Haha, -ha, that can be nice. Freezes are bad. Um... Oh, but oh, but, oh, I'm probably going to be running Poison Point a lot, you know, to get those lucky poisons, because I'm lucky with that. Um, it's a very good spe special defensive wall, which I felt like I kind of needed. Um, my special defensive wall was Lugia. Um, it does not like Electric. Oh, Rosalia is there. Uh, Rosalia doesn't like Psychic. Uh, Lugia is there. Lugia actually switches into, like, everything. Like, Ice Beam from your Luminion is only doing, like, 30 anyways so with the rosalia because it's a rose we're going to name it derek get it because derek rose uh-huh and like look where's its knees it, you don't eat it doesn't have knees so it's basically derek rose so anyways last pick of the draft you know we gotta we gotta think of what's a good one point mon um there's nothing really in <laughs> one point i'm just being honest um there is this Pokemon that I'm about to pick. Kind of a Mimi pick. Gives me another rocker, I guess. Um, with the final pick, for one point, we pick Corsola. Just a Corsola. We're gonna make Corsola shiny. And um MP Knife actually gave me the best nickname. Aw Corsola. Oh, that's so beautiful. Um, Corsola, it gets rocks. Um, it two shots Skarmory with banded um head smash with hustle. I just felt like that was amazing. Like, max defensive Skarm takes, like, it could take 70 from it. So if rocks are up, it technically cannot beat it, because if it tries to roost on it, then, uh, it actually can do enough, uh, with the head smash. Uh, it depends on moves and everything, I guess. So, Corsola, it's a Corsola. I'm never really going to bring this. Um, I might bring it as a meme one or two times. And, you know, you just gotta have your fun. Uh... So, yeah, that's the team. Um, we got Blugia the Lugia, Poppy the Giratina, Yumcake the Victini, Kurosawa the Mega Deancy, um, Plato the Ditto, Majuku the Darkrai, Ruby the Groudon, Uncle Mike the Beware, Strawberry the Victory Bell, Derek the Roselia, and Aquarsula the Corsula. Uh, so, in the comments below, just let me, what do you guys think about my team? Um, I've heard a lot of positive feedback because like, oh my gosh, four Ubers are busted. Um, but it's like, Victory Bell is actually insane. I'll probably bring it more than my Lugia just because Victory Bell is just busted. And like, Roselia spikes are really cool also uh, on this team, I feel like. So, uh, yeah, what do you think about the team uh, in the comments below? I really do appreciate when people comment on my video. As it, um, just your feedback uh, helps me improve. And yeah, I'm really excited to upload BBL this season. Uh, very, very excited. Thank you to the commissioners for giving me this chance. I will do my best not to let you down. Um, anyways, guys, this has been Perfect Blue. This has been my BBL Season 1 Draft Analysis, and um, I'm going to catch all of you later. Um, week 1 goes up on Monday. That was the agreed upload date. I do plan on uploading this league, and I feel like the 3DS environment will just help me upload um, a bit more consistently, as um, I do really appreciate uploading um, for my other leagues. However, if no one does it around me, it, I just feel kind of alone about it, you know? That's not that fun. But if, like, in this upload environment, I feel like it can be uh, pretty cool. Uh, just to be a part of, you know? Uh, enjoy Pokemon. And, 
Just enjoy like 3DS, because 3DS is a really a lot of fun to battle on. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. If you did like the video, just leave a like. Comment down below what you think of the team. You know, maybe share it with a friend or two. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, peace.